you've also been recognized as one of the leading entrepreneurs in uh, in Tampa Bay, um, I believe, by the Business Observer. Uh, what what I guess qualities or perhaps strategies do you think have contributed to that type of success? What what led to that? I think I think for me, it's that entrepreneurial spirit that so many people talk about. It um, knowing that there will be adversities and you know persisting and, and pursuing it anyway. Um, I'm often asked if I speak on panels, folks will say, well, what do you wish you would have known before you entered the laundry industry or before you started your own business? And I always say the same thing, which is I did all the research I could, but at the end of the day, there's things I'm glad I didn't know. Because I think sometimes we tend to trick ourselves into thinking, well, gosh, I can't do that, or it must be too complicated or or whatnot. But um, I'll always say that I'm glad there's things I didn't know because I may have made different decisions. And instead, I just powered through. So I think um, it was definitely an honor to be named one of the top entrepreneurs. Again, I'm surrounded by an amazing team and a, an amazing business community here in the Tampa Bay area. Uh, but for me, I think it was just that tenacity and just that, you know, um, never say never attitude and just knowing that I bet on myself and I can, you know, we can get through anything as a company. So I think that's hopefully guided my team and the other folks that I interact with in the business community here. Right. It's definitely a team effort. No one gets there alone. And uh, and, th- and that's a great point about maybe not knowing too much, I think, uh, <laughs> you know, and just, uh, uh, you know, sometimes you can certainly get uh, get paralyzed by uh, by some of that. So, uh, you know, those are great points. Absolutely. 